And we had lots of ideas around that, that idea, but it, what we eventually came back to was um, the thought of internal chatter and the enemy of self that lies underneath all of our communications and acts as a filter and a sensor. Um, so what we've done is build like more of a performative poem that um, exaggerates that inner enemy. Um, so I should warn you, there's, there is some swearing, so if you're offended by that, you might want to leave. <laughs> okay. Hi, Gemma. No, not hi. Hi is too familiar. I don't even know Gemma. Um, no, hi's okay. Um, it's endearing. It's um, casual. Hi, Amy. Is that too emphatic? A bit over eager? Actually, do I know Amy? Have I met her? I'll make it dear. Dear Amy. Hi, Gemma. Exclamation mark. <coughs> Does hi need an exclamation mark? It kind of contains an exclamation mark in it already, implied, maybe. Um, okay. Uh, fuck, fuck. Uh, delete. <laughs> Dear Amy, good. Or is that a bit formal, editorish, standoffish, superior? Dear applicant, I'm afraid that you have not been successful for your, in your application for the post of... Dear applicant, thank you for submitting your work for consideration. Unfortunately, the quality and standard of this year's entrance have been super high. Dear applicant, dear applicant, dear applicant. I sound like a permanently surprised idiot. <laughs> Who makes the rules up on this stuff anyway? Dear Amy, smiley face, delete smiley face. Okay, so we don't know each other. And I was thinking that we should get to know each other and that we should share something, or do something, perhaps, or... So, Amy, I've been thinking about the angles and which direction we should take this project in. What really fascinates me about this sort of collaboration... And I've banned myself from deleting words, because then we'll be in a deficit. So... It's the multiplicities and the modalities in which... Oh, fuck. Seamus, come on, he needs to go out. Come on, good boy. <laughs> See, the thing is, this cannot be pretentious. That's my main worry. And also, maybe we should try and do something funny, because it's just so fucking hard to be likeable. <laughs> there you go, good lad. Might as well put the kettle on now, Matt. Do -do -do. Why doesn't anybody ever clean the fucking cooker after using it? It's not that bloody difficult. And unpretentious, because the thing is, I'm afraid that we're actually going to be laughed off stage. I mean, really laughed off stage. Violently laughed off stage. See, I hate to admit it, but... Lather up the sponge, scrub it around, rinse the sponge, rinse the hog, get the tea towel. Oh look, we're running low on tea towels, classic, I'd better put a wash on. There's just something totally and comprehensively unfunny about two women stood on a stage. I mean, when have you ever seen two women stood on the stage and laughed? What I'll do is I'll quickly shove this wash on, clean the bath. Actually, if I'm going to clean the bath, I might as well put the dog in it first, and then I'll wash it afterwards. I mean, I'll do that. really, really, really laughed. Like your face was going to fall off. If we can actually make their faces fall off. Do the hoovering, make the tea, I'll watch the lunchtime news, and then I'll finish the email to Amy. Because that would be really something, actually, when you think about it, you know, just like seeing all their faces fall off. <laughs> so, Amy, what I think would be really interesting would be, and it would be really cool if, hmm, what would be really different to what everybody else is doing on the project? Okay, so I bumped into Cass the other night, and she said that you used to be a model. <laughs> I wonder what Joe Dunthorne's thinking about, or Joe Scalding. <laughs> So now I'm thinking, like, you're probably seven feet tall, and you've got impossibly good legs, and, you know, and then I was thinking, where's the poetry, and how you get the poetry out, and also, I'm kind of a bit worried that you're not getting back to me. 
<laughs> what about if everyone else goes really highbrow and I go really lowbrow, or if they go really light, fun, funny, and then the audience falls about completely charmed by them? <laughs> Not that I think this should be at the centre of your life, because it's totally shouldn't. Like, obviously, you have a life. Um, <laughs> You know, I, 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 you know, I'm not completely unreasonable. But what about if I go really high about then, and everyone thinks I'm an arse? So <laughs> I've been thinking... What if every single person does the exact same thing by accident? <laughs> we should maybe love bomb the audience with poems. And the audience coughs and rolls their eyes politely at us. I mean, this could be really good. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Free poems, yeah? So yeah, dear Amy. Attacking them from above. Really, really thrilled to be working on this project with you. Do you they'll, have any ideas? They'll fucking love it. <laughs> delete, 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 delete. delete. <laughs>